Ah, the 90s, the decade that survived entirely on nostalgia. Who could forget those kick-ass shows, those kick-ass toys, and that kick-ass Rwandan genocide? Ah, memories. In my opinion, there's no greater staple from the 90s than point-and-click adventure games. Running around those colorful environments, solving those crazy puzzles like... Getting the sword from the bank vault, using the sword on the manhole cover, reading the names off said cover, telling the names to the blind man in the prosthetic shop, receiving the prosthetic skin, using the skin on the now-open manhole, trampolining yourself into the bank, turning on the light, and finding the shadow of... a nose. <laughs> This week's game is a throwback to all those classic games called Quiet Please. In the game, you run around collecting objects, trying to make the house quiet so the little girl can go to sleep. The first thing to shut the hell up is Mom, who won't even let you go upstairs until you've done your homework, despite not having any. How dare she be on the phone with her sick and dying mother? Can't she see we need a nap? Well, I can think of only one way to deal with this problem. Feed her alcohol addiction. <laughs> Up next is the little brother, who's running around enjoying himself. Time to shut him up. Which you do by having him follow an RC car back to a box of detergent and having him play with it. Actually, you need to wash his pajamas and put him to bed. Whoa, sorry, didn't realize you were doing that in here. My bad, I'll go away and knock next time. Next is the man outside mowing his lawn, but first you need to distract the dog. So grab dinner out of the fridge, because fuck you! and use it to distract the dog, thus allowing you to sabotage the lawnmower by throwing a bucket of water on it. Next are the cats, who are meowing too loudly. You need to lure them to their bed with a ball of yarn. Um, you waiting for someone there, Mr. Ball of Yarn? No? Alrighty. Just put the ball of yarn in the cat bed, and they'll go to sleep by themselves. Up next is the father, who's watching TV too loudly, so we ask him to turn it down. <laughs> Just kidding, we jam a screwdriver in the satellite. I used that joke way more than I thought I would. Lastly is the clock, creating the ultimate sin. Ticking. How dare it. So naturally, you need to climb through a window onto the roof, steal the key from your parents' room, open it up, and then stop it from moving. You know, it might just be the fact that I'm lazy, but I think I'd live with the stupid clock. Finally, after all that work and threat to people's lives, you can go to sleep. At last, in quiet, you may enter dreamland. So that's Quiet Please, a nice little throwback to all those old adventure games we know and love oh so very much. Yeah, some of the solutions are a little silly, but overall, I highly recommend this game. It's a nice way to kill half an hour if you've got it. Quiet Please was developed by No Static Software. See the link in the description below for their main website. Thank you so much for watching, my name is Token Lad, and be sure to check out last week's Lazy Indie Sunday and this week's crap video. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video.